160. He's gone. What's up, guys? Another beautiful week here in Austin. The weather is shining. We've had a week's worth of rain, so uh, I'm pretty excited because I'm pretty sure my uh, my field out at the ranch is growing in nice and thick with ryegrass. But it also means we can't really go out there and shoot anything this weekend because you'd need like a monster truck to get to the back end of that field because things just sink into that mud. Well, this week is South by Southwest here in Austin, which is like yuppie fucking central down here right now, uh, more so than it normally is. And just everything is always packed with people and stuff and it's just, it's by far my least favorite week here in Austin because while it does bring in a few really good shows and I'll go catch them, you know, in the evenings this week, all in all, it's, it's probably not worth the effort, at least for me, because every time I go south, it's just like a mess. You got traffic, you got these idiots, people drunk in the middle of the day, just like fucking around. You watch a group of people cross the street and every single guy is wearing like hackies, boat shoes, and like a plaid shirt with those big square rim glasses. I mean, literally, it's like just like a rainbow of these douchebags. And it just, it just fascinates me that these people come down from, you know, Dallas or fucking Milwaukee or whatever, and they all think that that is what Austin looks like, so that's all they wear. There you go. South by Southwest traffic turns 35 into a parking lot in the middle of the day on a Sunday. Because here's a uh, lucid thought. If you have gridlock of nothing but fucking Priuses, you're still polluting the environment. Sorry. Let's just go roll our way through the university, shall we? Oh, it's a beautiful Chevelle. Ah, so many happy memories. But yeah, for those of you who don't know, South by Southwest is like a, it's become like a 10 or 12 day festival now. And way back when, it used to be all about the music. Uh, it used to be about bringing really small artists all into Austin, getting everybody a little exposure. But nowadays, it's turned into this massive event, right? All the tech companies are part of it. Um, you know, there's a lot of music still, but now there's, you know, organizations for, there's a Southwest, South by Southwest Film Festival. Um, you know, like regular art, like paintings and drawings and shit. Um, all kinds of stuff that, uh, that didn't used to be part of it. And because it's grown to such a huge thing, the ticket prices on everything are insane. I mean, Tech Week used to be like a couple hundred bucks. Now it's like thirteen or fifteen hundred dollars for a, just a tech pass. That's not music, that's just the tech stuff. Um, you know, all the venues for all the all the big acts that come through, I mean, they're all, you know, sold out and it's like standing room only. You gotta wait till like, from like two o'clock in the afternoon, you know, until nine or 10 at night when they're going on just to, uh, just to get a spot um, to go see some people. So I might go see a couple of the smaller shows that I don't have to like get up at two o'clock in the morning uh, and go stand for a day. But, um, yeah, it's there's a, there's a lot of uh, a lot of folks that descend upon our fair city uh, during this week. But that's part of what makes Austin so special to me is that uh, you know we have events like this, and you know it, it makes it it makes it unique. You don't have this sort of feel in any of the other cities in Texas, uh, at least. Speaking of non-stop events, I'm not really sure what the fuck happened to Facebook, but my Facebook feed has gone from like updates of people, and now it's like 10% product placement and 90% event placement. I mean, it's really handy in the sense that like, I now know where all the music is, so I just click, you know, interested on everything, and then Friday rolls around, and I just open up my Facebook and go, okay, well, uh, you know, like seven different options for Friday night, what do I want to go see? 
I used to go and I'd go and see it, and it's like, okay, that's really cool. But Facebook has broken down to nothing more than just constant product placement. I don't even see updates from people anymore. All I see is, you know, events, 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 invitations. And then, like, I also use it a little bit for chat as well, but that's about it. Which, I don't know, is really kind of a pretty dramatic change from what it was a few years ago. So I'd love to see some feedback from you guys. What do you guys think about South by Southwest? I know some of you live in Austin here. You know, what are your thoughts? And, uh, I don't know, maybe I'm the only one who's noticed that about Facebook. But, uh, you know, does everybody else just get nothing more than, like, event notifications? If I had half a million bucks, I would totally live down here. No question about that. I'd probably be willing to give up the garage, give up everything uh, to be able to live down here and have like a parking garage spot and live in one of these badass apartments. Uh, you know, if I could own one and not just uh, just rent one for a ridiculous amount of money. Ooh, I like that. God, there's so much money in this city. One of the things they're voting on here uh, at State Capitol next week is about basically whether or not we're going to require um, Uber and Lyft drivers to be fingerprinted. And basically, I know Uber has said that if we pass the sanctions here in Texas, then uh, they're going to, and here in Austin, they're going to pull out of Austin. Um, I don't think Lyft has made quite that sort of commitment yet, but um, I really hope that bullshit doesn't pass because. I have used Uber quite a bit. It, it is so convenient here in Austin. And downtown, you can get from one side downtown to the other for about five bucks, and it's like real quick. And it is an excellent service. I've used Lyft uh, once or twice. I just, you know, it's easier to just use Uber, uh, at least for me. I, I, mean, I don't really have much of a preference, though. But um, I would be very, very disappointed if they left because cabs are expensive. I mean, give you an idea to get from one side of Austin uh, downtown to the other in an Uber is about five or six dollars pretty much anywhere you want to go east or west um, you get in a cab and it's like closer to 20 because they have all these bullshit like three dollar pickup fee two dollar a minute fee one dollar like every mile fee it adds up and it just it, I mean I know a lot of people that, that used to get fairly fucked up and then try to drive themselves home and now they just take an Uber because it's cost effective, right? I mean, a $20 Uber ride is one thing, but like a $50 or $60 cab fare is bullshit, right? Like, I mean, you don't want to pay 60 bucks to get home after a night of partying when, you know, $20 is a very reasonable fee. Whereas like 50 or 60 is kind of, kind of unreasonable, at least to me. Go. Here's the Austin East side. All the uh, gentrification. You can just tell all these old buildings getting clammed up, shut down, turned into businesses, torn down, rebuilt. I think it's great. I mean, I don't. A lot of people think, oh, you know, it's losing its charm, but this used to be like a long time ago. This used to be like a bad neighborhood. This is like where people got shot and shit. And like. I don't know that, uh, I don't understand what makes that such a romantic memory. Oh, you know, I used to remember when people got shot in South Central, uh, and now it's like, oh, it's just nice and quiet with a bunch of hippies. Oh, man, I'm so nostalgic. Where are the gunshots? Yeah, I, you know what? You can say that if you want, but, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call bullshit. <laughs> it's the Jesus fan. Looks like a few people are over there working. Let's see. Stop by, say hi. Oh. Get the fuck out of the middle of the road, you dick. For some reason, this makes my Harley feel really authentic to go down, like, a little dirt track road. Yeah. My Harley man. Harley man. Harley man.